Okay, we do the thumbs up or thumbs down. Oh, Lord, he done went in for a second, John. Okay, I know what that means. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back. Thanks for stopping in. If you're new to the channel, if you like my content, go ahead on and subscribe. Give me that thumbs up if you like my content. But anyway, if you're a regular, thanks for all the support that you give me. It's really appreciated, whether you know it or not. I really appreciate it. We haven't hit that thousand um, subscriber mark yet, but that's okay. We'll continue to rock and roll until we get it, right? Anyway, today I'm doing a leftover meal. Partially leftover meal. Because this corned beef is leftover. This is corned beef. Then I have some potatoes. They kind of like sprouting, starting to sprout. If your tater look like this, don't throw it away now. Just peel that sucker off and keep it going. And chop it up like you normally because this still is a good old potato. Just because it look funny and ugly on the outside don't mean it's not good in the inside, okay? So I'm, I got two potatoes, so this is what I'm going to use. I have cabbage. I have some sesame black pepper, ginger, cayenne pepper, turmeric, onion powder. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this to the side and I'm gonna peel these potatoes here. This ain't nothing but a trash bag. You tell me what's wrong with that potato. Not a dang gone thing. Cut that on off there. Nothing. Okay, I'm gonna peel the other one. And there we go. Okay, and I washed my um, potatoes off. So now I'm just gonna cut them up and throw them in with the cabbage. So I'm gonna cut it down the middle here. Okay, so I'm gonna cut my um I'm gonna cut my potatoes up and I added it in with the uh, cabbage. Now I'm going to take this corned beef and cut this fat off of it. <clears throat> Ain't nobody got time for that fat. Now this is leftover corned beef now. Just to let y'all know. So it's already cooked. Cut that fat off. Then I'm just going to dice it. And throw it on in there. We're gonna throw it all in the pot. Okay, I'm gonna cut some more up and I'll be back. Okay, so I got the cat, the cabbage, the corned beef. In this pan. I'm just gonna mix it up. Oh, and the potatoes. Mix it on up with your hands. Your hands should be clean. But, you know, don't nobody got to tell you your hands should be clean, so. Okay. Now I'm about to cut up some baby carrots. So I'm just going to chop these little carrots up. Okay. 
add your carrots. We'll cut some more up. There you go, everyone. Everything's all mixed up. I mean, <laughs> everything's all in the pan, and you're just gonna mix it up. Oh, I forgot. Yo, you cannot forget the country crop. Yes, you can't forget that. Do you have a tablespoon? You know I use my fingers and break it off. Use like two tablespoons of butter. There we go. Next, we're gonna put our seasonings on. Okay, this is the seasoning I had at the beginning. Just in a bowl mixed up. Make sure you mix all your ingredients up together. Sprinkle it on top. Make sure you get it on that butter too, because when it melts, that butter will go all on down there. Mm -hmm. okay. We're just going to mix it up. Oh, Lord. Keep the seasonings in the pot. Keep them seasonings in that pot. That's some dope ass cabbage. Hopefully, our butter melt on in there. So that's all the ingredients we're adding in here. We're gonna cover it up and put it in the oven and let it rip. I got one of these little tin tops. If you got aluminum foil, use your aluminum foil. Just cover it. Even if you're cooking it on the stove top, just cover it with your top and cook it slow. Yeah, just let it flow. It'll all come together. All right, we're going to put her in the oven. And I'll be back. We're going to cook for like 45 minutes, and I'll be back. Um, You see I didn't add any liquids in there because cabbage makes its own juice. And it's going to be and from the steam in it. So, in the butter, that's going to be the juices right there. Okay, everyone. I took it out the oven. You see the steam coming from it. Ah. All right, I got my cabbage and corned beef. I'm gonna stir her up. Potatoes done. Watch the fork. I mean, watch the thing go right through the potatoes. That's done. I'm about to add some more butter in here. It looks like it needs some more butter. Hold on, y'all. Guys, I'm going to add some um, more butter in here. Butter. I'm going to add a little salt. I know already I put too much pepper in here. But that's all I like spice. Alright guys, I'm about to taste it. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. And I'm going to go hard. Everything on here. Carrot, cabbage, corned beef. Go ahead on and try it. How it tastes to you. I'm gonna go ahead on and try it. Let me see. You probably lying to me. Let me see. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm, 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 mm. That is some kind of good. Mm. Try that recipe out. Just make sure you add a little bit of salt in there, though. 
Alright, tell me how it tastes, Buck. Get everything the potato, the corned beef, the oh. carrot. Oh, oh, that big piece. That big piece. Yeah. For the potato. That's a potato? Yeah. It was? Mm hmm. Okay. Carrot. Carrot. Honest truth. Hmm. Lord Jesus, make me want to marry you again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we do the thumbs up or thumbs down. Oh Lord, he done went in for a second, John. Okay, I know what that means. <laughs> thumb up. All right. Both thumbs. All right, y'all go fix that mess.